Hey guys, I did a video long ago about treasury yields. I talked about bonds. About, I talked about how you could go to the bank and uh, invest um, in some bonds, all sorts of things like that. And it really got no attention, really. No one was interested. Most young investors or retail investors, and I say retail on purpose, uh, sadly, don't care about that stuff. But the smart money does, and they make money, right? The stock market, what is it doing right now? It's doing, it's, it's, it's bad, right? It's going down, right? Why did I make this video, you're wondering right now? Why is, it, why is this guy talking about? What's the point of this video? The point of this video is to show you how no matter what is going on right now, you can actually make money. In fact, I can prove it to you. So today, the market was a complete bloodbath. Horrible. Yet, I made money and so did my Patreon. What I'm going to show you is something that I talked about on my Patreon channel, which you, if you want, you can join us. Uh, link will be in the comment section below. We're going to talk about the 20-year treasury rates. Don't run away because you would have made more money dealing with the 20-year treasury rate all year long than um, going after the next hype. Uh, cryptos for sure, no. Uh, trust me, you would have made more money like that. All right. Dealing with the 20 year treasury, uh, treasury rate, when you hear on CNBCs and on your Bloomberg's and all that, what do they always talk about? Well, the bond market, this and this and that. That's where the money is. There's a lot of money there. And I'm going to teach you something else in this video that no matter what happens to the stock market, there's always an inverse. Most of the times, almost always there's an inverse. So the 20 year treasury rate is the, if you watch this video, it might be boring, but I guarantee you, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you stock charts. I'm gonna show you exactly what you should invest in, exactly what's making money. If you're interested, watch. There's, there was a ton of money made already in the 20 year treasury rates. First, let me, let's talk about the 20 year treasury rate, what it is and so on. So the 20 year treasury rate is the yield receiving for investing in a US government issued treasury security that has a maturity of 20 years. I, I talked, I made a video about that before. You go to the bank and you buy the, uh, yeah. So the 20 year treasury yield is included on the longer end of the yield curve. The treasury rate refers to the current interest rate that investors earn on debt securities issued by the US Treasury, right? You remember make, me making a video about this in the past? The federal government borrows money by issuing US Treasury bills, right? We said we go to the bank, we get US Treasury bills, and we make interest off of that. And um, they're almost always guaranteed for you not to lose your money. Um, the federal government, like I said, borrows money by issuing US Treasury bills, notes, and bonds. The current treasury rate is an important benchmark and indicator for investors and economists. Currently, right, currently the 20-year treasury rate is at 3.45%. 3.45%. In 2020, it was as low as nearly 1%, right? So we're, we're at 3.45% right now. By the way, before I continue, free money, six free stocks. Think about it, worth up to $2,000. We're talking about major free money. If you use my Moomoo link, which will be in the comment section below, click on it, sign up to start trading on Moomoo, and you deposit whatever you want, right? You don't need to deposit a hundred bucks, a thousand dollars. You can deposit whatever you want. You want to deposit 50 cents? You'll still get those six free stocks worth up to $2,000. So you're making a lot of money instantly. Now the 20 year treasury rate guys is a 3.45% like I said, right? So here it is. This is the one year chart you're looking at. You're looking at the one year chart of how the 20 year, tre the 20 year treasury rate has been performing. As this thing goes higher, right? As the 20 year treasury rate goes up, we can make money. If it goes down, we can make money. There's always an inverse to something in the stock market. Uh, if you trade long enough, you'll figure it out. And if you don't, then that's why I'm here and you can watch my videos and you'll learn. So one year, like I said, if it's going up, we make money. If it's going down, we make money. Right now, we, it just depends on what you believe will happen with the US with 20 year treasury. You can do this, by the way, with a two year treasury, same thing, right? But we're focused on the 20 year treasury in this video. So how we can make money, like I said, we're focused on the fact that it's going up. It's a 3.45%. Let me just get to the point. It, what I believe is that the 20 year treasury rate will eventually, eventually is the key word, right? I'm not saying tomorrow is gonna happen. It will eventually hit 4%, 4%. So I still have room to grow. So what in the world do I wanna use 
to make money off the 20 year treasury rate rising. And as I believe that it will eventually hit 4%, then I'm fine holding on to this, right? Well, I use the ProShares Trust. There's a trust by ProShares. That trust by ProShares is called the ProShares Ultra Pro Short 20 year treasury, right? That's what I'm using. That's what I wanna use. It's an exchange traded fund launched by and managed by ProShares Advisories. Let me get to the point real quick as far as the charts is concerned, and then we'll get back to this screen and I'll uh, explain to you what the ProShares Ultra Short 20 Year Treasury is. So June 5th at 6.57 p.m. This is a screenshot from the, this is a screenshot from the page on, on, on the creator's account, my, on my account. Um, doesn't look like that for the viewers on my Patreon channel, but this is from the, this is on my dash, let's say, my dashboard. And this is a, 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 a what I what I had published on June 5th at 6:57 p.m. I told them that they should buy the ProShares Ultra Short 20 Year Treasury, right? Plus some other things which I I, I omitted here in the blue um, because we're not focused on those. So we're focused on this one in this video. And so ProShares Ultra Ultra Pro Short 20 Year Treasury. Its ticker symbol is Triple T. Now don't don't go away just because you get the ticker symbol. Now watch, you don't want to stick around. So then it was June fifth, right? Here it is, the yellow arrow when I told them on June fifth. On June fifth, that thing was trading at fifty-seven bucks. There's other ones that we talked about, like I said, but we're focused on this one in this video. So at fifty-seven bucks, I said, you know what, guys, buy it, just buy it. We're gonna end up going for four percent on the twenty-year treasury rate. Uh, could have talked about it earlier, yeah, but you know what, if I talked about it way back in May, it would have been at 60, and then they would have been holding for a long time, going all the way to June, and still would have been like at 57, and would have, and and, and the, uh, they would have thought, okay, Mike just made us uh, for like a month, two months, hold on to this, told us to buy, we're holding on to this, and we're in red, right? So it's better that I talked about it on June 5th. So on June 5th, I said at 57, get into it now. So whoever got in, got in. I don't know who got in for my Patreons. Uh, but at 57, now it's at $65.86. So it's significantly up, right? And you'll notice at the end here how sharply it's gone up. It went up because as the Fed, and as the Fed raises the rates, which they will again in the future, right? Though they said they're gonna raise the rates until they can bring inflation down. They may, you know, they're gonna, they may have to raise the rates another two times, let's say. So uh, as the Fed gets more and more aggressive, Triple T goes up. Like I said, it was at 57, now it's at 65. See how, even though the markets are doing really bad today and so far, you could have still been making money, right? Um, and, and there were some warning signs I gave. And the first time I even mentioned anything near 20 year treasury rates, 20 year about treasury bills, bonds and all that, the first time I even talked about that stuff, was not on my Patreon channel. It was on my YouTube channel. And I got almost literally one of the worst views. Like nobody wanted to watch it. So like as soon as they heard treasuries and everybody ran away. Um, but that's how you make money. Like don't, you know, don't, it be, it's just because something sounds boring. Who cares if it's boring? Like if it's making money, why do you care if it's boring? Anyways, all right, so let's go back real quick. So here you can read, uh, I'll, show, I'll show you in text so you can uh, uh, be able to pause the screen if you want to. It basically explains uh, in detail, what is this ProShares Ultra Pro Short 20 Year Treasury ETF? It's a leveraged ETF, right? So the fund invests in mixed income markets in the United States. It takes short positions and uses derivatives such as a swap agreements and future contracts to invest US dollar denominated investment grade treasury securities, which have a remaining maturity 20 years or more. Look, we can continue to read this more and more, the fund seeks to track, and, and there's a bunch of things. Basically, as long as the 20 year treasury rate uh, goes up, this makes money. If it goes down, this won't make money, but there's an inverse to, there's another ETF that's actually the inverse, like when the, tra when the 20 year treasury rate goes down, it makes money. Right? We could talk about that next time. But right now, because I believe that the 20 year, uh, the 20 year treasury rates are still going to continue to go up 
eventually hitting 4%, and I believe that, then we'll, that's why I'm focusing on that. So the investment six daily investment results before fees and expenses that correspond to three times, right? Three times the inverse of the daily performance of the ICE, US Treasury 20 year bond index. So we want the inverse of that. So if the 20 year, 20, uh, so if it's going up the 20 year treasury rates, we make money, right? The index includes publicly listed US Treasury securities that have a remaining maturity greater than or equal to 20 years and have $300 million or more of outstanding face value. So Triple T is an exchange trade fund that provides for the three time return of the, tw of the US Treasury 20 year bond index. The fund is up significantly in 2022. It really is. Leverage plays a significant role in the ETF's returns. Now, mind this, that Triple T is not a pure buy and hold investment. It's only a pure buy and hold investment only for a specific time period. And that is as long as the US Treasury rates are going up and that won't be going on forever. All right. So Triple T is not a pure uh, buy and hold uh, investment, but rather it is a tool to be utilized in an aggressive tightening environment. What are we having now with the Fed? An aggressive tightening environment. And that's why this thing is thriving. A sophisticated retail investor who is comfortable with leveraged products, uh, you, and you should be careful when using leveraged products, leveraged ETFs. And if you believe that we have not seen the highs of the 20 year rates, which I also believe we, we have not seen the highs yet, then you would use Triple T, you would use it, you would invest into it. I mean, just the past month, just the past month, it's already up 13.10%. I think the, for year to date, it's already up like 45, 50%, I don't remember, I think 50%. So yeah, with that being said, that's that. So we have the Triple T ProShares Ultra Short 20 Year Treasury Index. Um, I think that this is something you might want to look into, but don't buy it just because of this video at all in any way, shape or form. You have to do your independent research and decide for yourselves. If you want to join us on Patreon, like I said, link will be in the comment section below. There's always remember that there's no matter what the markets are doing, and this is for new investors, if the markets are bullish, you make money. If the markets are bearish, you make a ton of money. You just need to um, know what to look for. And if you don't watch and learn, read and learn. You don't need to watch me. You can read online and stuff. There's a, there's a ton of things. So thank you very much for watching. I wish you all the best. Don't forget to hit the like button and take care.